Good morning, good morning, good morning. And hold on, wait, 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 wait. Do not adjust your TV. It is not Tuesday. <laughs> if you might be thinking what's going on, but he's here. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing fantastic, my friend. How are you? You know, we just screwed up half my audience. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, Steven's here. It's Tuesday. Uh, yeah. How you doing? Yeah, things are good. Uh, out from the weekend, it's a Monday. It's a, it's my favorite day of the week. People always ask me, how can you say, thank God it's Monday? I love Mondays. It's a great, it's a new beginning. We set new goals every week. It's, it's an exciting day for us. Now, let's recap. Because last week we had one year, what what do we call them now? Partners coming in, yeah. sales associates, yeah, um, yeah, coming in, and it was a great start. And I said, Stephen, I'm I'm, in, I'm enjoying this meeting all the new people to the team and what's going on. And you told me, well, you haven't seen nothing yet. We have a lot more coming. And I said, great, let me know. And you're like, let's do this. So I said, okay. So who do we have today, Stephen? I'm excited to meet the new person. Well, we have a, so we're, we're doing a number of these shows now, and we have a very exciting uh, addition today. Hamali Gandhi is a, is a very special um, a person for us. She's uh, passionate about making a difference in the world, and we're very excited um, to have her as part of the RTG team. All right. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show. How you doing? Oh, I'm great, and I'm really excited. And you know, it's it's a grand welcome. Thank you, Charles. Hi, problem. Stephen. Yeah. Hello, Hamali. So happy that you could be to the show and and welcome, because I know that anybody that Stephen brings to the show is tremendous. Is a great person. So thank you for taking the time to come to the show. It's got to be the energies that he drives are crazy. I mean, and he 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 works like a magnet. I mean, the good things goes towards them. I, we are just trying to be there. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so before we go on, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, okay, as the name might have suggested, that I'm from India, born and brought up India, and I studied at uh, Canada, the beautiful country. I'm a permanent resident now, and. Uh, uh, I I was a banker and a financer, but then gradually I realized the calling and that, that calling was, of course, Stephen was one part of it, but second is giving back to the society and making an impact. So I think my skin and my, I feel at home at RTG right now. So being part of RTG, making an impact, a massive impact, Charles, I must yeah. say that, a massive impact really gives me that peace. That okay, I um, I'll be fulfilling the purpose that God gave me birth on this earth too. Yeah, so hats off to Stephen. Thank you. And then, and Stephen, how does that make you feel? Just hearing that the great work that you guys are doing has an impact. And she kept saying the word impact, 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 yeah. and that's what we want to do: leave yeah. impact. So talk to us a little bit about the program. Yeah, it's a, well. First of all, it's extremely rewarding. I mean, we we do these things, and we the great thing about what we're doing is, um, you know, we're attracting some great people like Hamali, um, and we're really excited that to have her part of the team. Hamali's uh, focus right now is um, is on the on the sick program, the social impact challenge, which we created. Um, as you know, we've we've talked a little bit about this in the past, but we we were looking to create a program specifically for companies to uh, engage them to help them with some of the issues that companies are facing now, uh, and not just around COVID, but in general. This program is actually uh, part of COVID, and I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But we were looking and doing a, a bunch of uh, data research on how we could engage companies, how could we could help them with some of the challenges they were facing today. Companies always, Charles, are looking to improve culture. Culture is now directly related back to bottom line. So an improved culture will mean a, a greater bottom line. One of the biggest things that companies are looking for today is ways to, to uh, retain employees. It's still one of the top things today. How do we get, you know, especially the younger generation, millennials, how do we get them to stay longer at our company? What do we have to do to, to, to make that happen? So both employee uh, attraction and engagement is extremely important. And then uh, an emotional connection to the brand. 
And more and more companies are realizing how important that is. There's been many, many studies around that. That is there. When I was in the advertising world, we talked about that constantly, the need to create this emotional connection. In fact, we refer to it as a love mark. And you do that by doing good things. And so this social impact challenges around that, but we've taken it one step further now because of COVID. Obviously, every company now is looking to engage their employees and bring them together, right? Okay, so that's that's an obvious. But we can't do it physically right now. Yeah. So everyone's looking for how do we do it remotely? Uh, do we get them on? Our company, for example, we started by doing um, uh, dinners. So every second Friday, we would have a virtual dinner and we'd have everybody come on and they talk about you know what they're what they're getting you know where what they got for dinner of course companies paying for that and we just talk about stuff in general about what we're doing and not no bit no business related stuff and that was great although you know we have a small you know company we don't have you know thousands hundreds of employees so that to bring together 20 people that's one thing but when you're talking larger uh, when you're talking about engaging from an emotional connection, we wanted to create a program that would, could really, you know, help them. And so the social impact challenge does exactly that. And if you can just envision it, you're you book it, you're all your employees register to become part of this challenge, and then they go on there and they get to choose. And Charles, I can't stress this point enough. Companies today are pre-selecting what they're going to stand for, the causes in which they want the company to be a part of, whether it's cancer or AIDS or mental illness or whatever it may be. The challenge is this. We live in a different era. You cannot do that today. That's a flawed strategy. And as a strategist, I can tell you right now, it doesn't work. You will not get engagement. In fact, you, in some cases, will drive people away because the younger people get passionate about their causes. And if you're not engaging their cause, that's one way that you're going to lose them. And so knowing that, understanding that, we built this program that allows this to be all about your employees with the benefits, of course, going to the company. Imagine going in and, and an employee says, what okay so i'm passionate about gender equality or racism or or the climate or feeding now they get to pick from all the 17 sustainable development goals created by the un and their in their partnering countries they get to select what they're passionate about and they get to go in and do challenges around those and they get to by the way then they get to compete against other employees and trash talk and who's got the most points and yeah. so they get to have a lot of fun around it so it's a great way to bring them together and i know when when i was talking to hamali about this originally we started talking about it right away she was like wow this is this is this is exactly what companies need right now so yeah so let me ask you hamali when did you get passionate about the giving about the give back about helping like what, what changed you that says, I got to dive in, I got to be a person to give back and help other people give back as well? Uh, Charles, to be really frank and candid enough, um, we are Indians and in India giving, Indian is a giving society and we believe in kindness and those things. I, I'm not saying at any point that other countries are not, but we, uh, from the childhood, we are trained that way. But what happens, what happened was the watershed moment came when I came to realize that people are talking about mandate of diversity. That is, if we create this much number of employees of different colors, the diversity goals are achieved. But I was single-mindedly focused on one thing that, okay, if I really do care about something, I really need to do something about it. The feats has to move on towards it. I have to really work towards it. So there were massive interventions going on. Many things going subconsciously, and that's where I came about to know that okay, I got to do something strategically about it, and that's yeah. where I came. You know, yeah. When, when when you talk business, strategy comes in, but you know, uh, at Starbucks they have a strategy, and that's called doing things. So Stephen and I have equal bias of action. We want to do it. We want to make sure that we are not selling anything. We are trying to convince you that you are halfway there. You are doing it half-heartedly. You're creating numbers, but there is no inclusivity. People are not feeling inclusive. 
and the emotional content connect that Stephen is talking about. Steve Jobs was a great storyteller. He said, when you touch the heart of people, that's where the customers are yours. So that's makes, how we are doing it. Yes. Yeah, it makes sense. And I, and I love the part where you said, you know, don't stand there, take steps, start walking. Yeah. Because everybody yes. talks about it, but nobody moves against it. And you you joining with Stephen and everybody else is actually moving toward it. So that's the difference. But then, Stephen, we talked about it. We touched on it last time. But for, for my new audience members that are watching, what's the difference? What's that catch? Tell them the, tell them the secret behind it. Because the motto is? Yeah. Uh, so our motto, of course, is that for everything we do is that everyone must win more than they put in. Yep. And in this corporate program, we've taken that motto and really put it into this package that allows the companies to win, the employees to win, the, the, the causes that each employee is you know, focused on during the, during the month competition to win. At the end of the month, you know, we add we we add up all the scores. That, you know, basically, you know, to just to get a little bit more detail, so so people know exactly what happens is a company registers, all employees register, and then they go and they click on whatever whatever uh, SDG social uh, um, development goal that they're passionate about, and underneath that, there's many many different challenges that they can take that are all through proprietary algorithms built to tell you what impact that that had on the specific SDG that you selected. So now at the end of the month, everybody of course competes to see who's gonna get the highest score and everything. But at the end of the month, we take all of the score, we put them all together, divide by the number of employees and every company is going to get an, a social uh, impact score. So they can proudly put on their website and everything, compete against other companies. They can retake the challenge down the road if they want to improve that. But now they've got something. And here's the key to that, Charles. And I know a lot of companies out there listening right now will understand this. Through the engagement, you're bringing that emotional connection and you're involving every single employee in your company to be able to say at the end of the month, when they see that social impact score, they're saying we're responsible for that. Not the company selecting things or not the company cutting a check to, you know, a, a charity means nothing anymore. You know, those are all good things still. And we all always need that. But these are programs that engage your employees that absolutely have substance behind them and they take great pride because they're responsible for that. Right. So that's, that's the real secret sauce to the social impact challenge. All right. And then the, the model sticks and that's what everybody needs to understand that absolutely. when you give, you're getting back. There's a, there's a give and back return because everybody yeah. loves giving, but at a certain point in time, like you said, if, if I'm not giving to something that I feel tremendously and and about passionate about it's i'm not fully into it a hundred percent so this is a brilliant way of getting everybody involved and having fun at the same time knowing that you're helping somebody out there and sure. it's a great time yeah yeah and you know you can, you're going to get employees that go out and they have drinks with their friends and everything and they say guess what we did today oh we just finished the social impact challenge and you know we scored like 8.3 have you guys done that yet you know and then you've got employees there that maybe their company hasn't done it yet. And they're like, what are you talking about? What, what What's this social impact challenge? And they get in all this stuff with them and you create that excitement. Or maybe they're talking with a with a, another friend whose company did the social impact challenge, but they didn't score as high as their company did. And they're like, ha ha, I'm in a better company. We scored be better. You know, so you're going to get this whole thing. But think about that, Charles. We're, we're doing a movement here around all this competition and, and feeling good about where you work and all that. And it's all it's all generated about doing good and giving back and and helping the at the you know the UN and all their all their partner countries in hitting the sustainable development goals in which they rolled out and this is the important because what a lot of people don't know is we're in the decade of social impact right now in 2015 the the uh, UN got together with 196 member companies and said this is a white paper this is a manifesto that we need to eradicate these particular sustainable development goals over the next 15 years. Well, that was five years ago. We're in, this is the decade now. 
So this is the way in which people, companies can get involved. We can help, you know, eradicate these things by helping ourselves. And that's the key to the social impact challenge. All right. And now the, how, the main key is now, how do people get involved? How did the companies get involved? Yeah. So best, best is to reach out to other Hamali, myself, uh, my information's here. Hamali is obviously reaching out to all of her people directly. So they'll have her information and we can walk you through it. We've got information to share exactly how it works. Uh, I can tell you right now, uh, we just launched this not that long ago. Um, and you know, we, we had uh, actually the beginning of the year, we tested this at the end of last year, we had 25 companies that worked out really, really well. Everybody was really excited. Companies were CEOs were coming back to me and saying, we've never had a full engagement in anything we've done, but we did in this. So that's exciting. So then COVID hit. And when we talked to companies, cause we, we thought rolling it out of COVID in the first six, seven months of COVID, nobody knew what was happening. Now companies are well aware of it and they're saying, okay, you know what? We need to do this program. It's actually a COVID program. And uh, we're booking almost a hundred percent of our uh, bookings. Now Charles are done are being booked for January, February, March. Companies want to start off the new year with a bang. They want to go out and say, okay, this is what we've got. Um, let's start. Let's get do on a positive note. Let's put you know COVID behind us, even though, as we all know, this is gonna this is gonna carry into the new year, but we can do something about it and, and start on a positive note. All right. So before we go, Homali, I'm gonna give the last word to you. Why should somebody join? Tell them why it's so important how this program can really help everybody around the world. So here it is. I mean, uh, if you want to really tie the loose ends since the years that you kept tangled just on numbers, talk to us. If you really want to seriously want to do something for the country, talk to us. If you really want millennials to get out of that Facebook and WhatsApp and something that is socially connecting them, networking them, but not making any impact. If you really want young politicians to join the country's politics and make difference, a good policy maker, they will always care about the planet. They will always care about what is sustainable. If you really want a healthy mindset, come to us. I think that RTG as a group, maybe one year, two year down the line, people won't understand this, but this is going to create a movement. I being Gandhi, I can tell you that I lead the movement and people will follow it. So yeah, here's to RTG, social impact and millennials, because we have the youngest population. I mean, the number of young people right now are highest in decades. And I think we should address this. Perfect. Steven. I have nothing more to add. That's she just <laughs> Hamali. Let's leave it at that. She's she talked on everything. We're so excited. Obviously, you could tell why we're so pleased and excited to have Hamali as part of the team. And the social impact challenge is going to be huge. Uh, so yeah, at least get educated. I think when people uh, are getting educated, they're understanding just how good this program really is. Yeah, and it's obvious why she it was why she joined the team. So Hamali, it was great meeting you, and and welcome to the team. Pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See you guys yeah. next time. Like I always said, you didn't have to watch, but I appreciate that you did. Tell a friend. And like she said, join the team. Don't just think about it. Get out there. Do about it. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Thank you. RTG Group is a social enterprise. We substantially benefit and reward those who choose to do good. Our mandate in all of our programs is that everyone must win more than they put in. For more information, call 647 859 0126. We can do this together. It's come to an end, but the fun doesn't have to stop here. If you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, head over right now to Twitter and Facebook and like, share, and get involved. Join us next time. Please be advised that this podcast is meant for educational and informational purposes only and is in no way a replacement for legal or medical advice. The opinions contained within are solely those of the interviewers and interviewees.